Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third hour of Good Day New York featuring Greg Kelly and Bo Deedle. My man, Greg. How you doing? One question. I got the weathermen over there doing this mini marathon, this cream cake thing. That's not like the 26 miles and all that. Why ain't you? I mean, you got some... Uh... First of all, you are a guest host, all right? Don't be calling the shots. Don't be asking all these questions. <laughs> about. Don't be questioning me at this point. Oh, Bo, seriously, now? it's good to see you. Yeah, you know what? You're, you're on thin ice, okay? Oh, okay. I'm going to be watching you very closely. Rosanna's on vacation. Bo Deedle, a little bit on Bo. Bo, where did you, what was your first job? My first job was delivering newspapers for the Long Island Press. No kidding. I was eight years old. I used to deliver 76 newspapers before I went to school. Do you know I was a paper boy for Newsday? Really? I started when I was 11. Yeah, did you remember the Long Island Press on Long Island? Long Island Press was... Queens. Uh, I grew up in Ozone Park, Richmond Hill area. And then you became a cop. No, I was an iron worker, construction worker on the World Trade Center. All right. Uh, really? You're that old? You help you help build the World Trade Center. I worked as an iron in, in 1969, 1970. I became uh, went on New York City Police Department. All right. How long were you a cop? I was a cop for, for 15 years. All right, 15 years. Now check this out, Bo Deedle. I love this scene, Bo. I first learned of you in the movie Goodfellas. When did you first learn of me? That's when I first. I'm sorry, Bo. It was 1990, and this is the first oh, time okay. I ever I ever figured out who Bo Deedle was when he arrests Ray Liotta uh, at the end of the movie. That's Bo Deedle right there. How'd you get this part? Well, when, when they first started the, the movie Goodfellas, Goodfellas was Wise Guy, the book Wise Guy, written by Nicholas Pileggi. So when I first retired, Nick Pileggi called me to his apartment, an apartment on 18th Street. He said, I can't believe you're leaving the New York City Police Department. I want to do a feature story in New York Magazine. I'm sitting in his apartment. He's writing his book called Wise Guy, and he talks about Paul Verio. There you are in the green in the green T-shirt, by the way, booking uh, Ray Liotta. Right. And then he starts talking about it. It was all about my old neighborhood with Henry Hill. With uh, uh, The real guy's name was Jimmy Burke. He owned the bar on uh, Leffage Boulevard. And we start talking. So the next thing is, he says, look, I want you involved with me with the movie. But I said, okay, we go up to Rayo's with Martin Scorsese, Ellen Lewis, the casting director. We end up casting 12 guys out, uh, Petey Neck, Mikey, uh, Johnny Rose Beef, all Frankie right. No, all these guys. All those were, guys got in the movie. Yeah. And it's a, probably one of the greatest movies ever. Bo, I respect your experience in law enforcement. I also respect his ability as a self-promoter. You can really do it. You are good. Well, you are good, you Bo. You know what, Greg? If you're not going to go out, and I tell everybody, I've written a couple of books. I tell everybody, you know what? It's out there. We were at the cerebral palsy thing out in Long Island last night. And I tell everybody, you know, if you want to just sit back and do your job, a lot of the guys go on the police department. They want to get through 20 years and retire. The fact of the matter is a lot of them are out there trying to get their retirement. I say, you know what? Do something when you're out there. Make Make it change in the crime situation. If someone's dealing drugs, go after them. Become a cop and a real cop. And I always say that to everybody. That's once you finish that, there's a lot more to life out there. The harder you work, the more you get for yourself. If you want to be complacency is the death of success. Remember that one. Thank you, Bo. Thank you so a much. Wise, wise attention for no, the weekend. The wise attention. He also speaks in a very uh, interesting way, peculiar to Bo Deedle. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great to have you here. Seriously. Well, really, I really, I love you and Rosanna, and I'm sorry Rosanna's not here. I got to, I got to, like, me and you against each other here, because Rosanna usually sticks up for me. Well, you know, we got some things to debate, and that'll okay. be coming up in a little bit. Uh, but now we're going to get to the news. Bo, you saw yesterday, it was a wild mm. day on Wall Street, a negative day. And uh, today, people are nervous. Uh, the stock market opens, I think, at 9.30, right? That's when the opening bell is. Uh, we're off to a weak start already, though, Bo, because of what's happened in Europe mm -hmm. and uh, in Asia. You know, they're they're ahead of us, Bo. You know, you know honestly, I'm a little familiar. I'm, I'm also a Fox, Fox News contributor. I don't know if you know that. I, you're, right, you're, you're on Fox. I know you're tied with Imus. You're do, all over the place. I do Imus. I also do Follow the Money. I do Geraldo. I do Cavuto. I do a lot of the show. I'm a contributor for Fox on the Fox News Network. And? And I kind of follow this a lot. And a lot of people, now it's into panic mode. People have to realize, just don't jump on the panic. Because the panic will end up, you're going to see 20% loss in the stock market. You've got to not panic. Because you've got to look at all the P&Es of these corporations. These corporations have very good earnings. So, you know, you can't panic if you're holding good stock. No right. matter what that, that, that Wall Street stuff goes down, you know you got a good company. All these companies got the best P&E uh, revenues out of all times. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Double check all that stuff with your own financial advisor. All right, mm -hmm. <laughs> you sound like you're panicking already. Well, Guys well, like you make the panic. Trust me, there's no panic out there, everybody. Hold on to your stocks. Don't panic. That's what it's all about. The company's got great earnings.
Easy for you to say, Bo, you got a book under your belt, you got a successful business, let's see, you got a couple of movie credits, you got a screenplay. Come on, Bo. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Do you have stock? Uh, actually, I'm, uh, that's very personal, but okay. uh, yes, as a matter of Are fact. Are you going to weasel am, out after I, the show? You're going to sell your stock you know like what? a weasel? I'm sorry, that's not a weasel. That's not a man Oh, you're thing. running. You're running. No. You've got to stand there and take the shots Bo like this. Oh, it's going to drop a little bit, but it'll come back. You That's see, you caught, guys like you caused the 1929. Right, boom. guys like me. Right, yeah. I just, right, right. <laughs> Stand in there, be a man. 